Hi guys, my name is Ivo and I'm from mytestedtsp.net. We are going to continue the current video series about web application security vulnerabilities with ASP.NET Core. Before we begin, I would like to tell you that if you are new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn bell notifications on because I occasionally upload um, advanced C Sharp video lessons. Let's continue. In the previous video we talked about SQL injection. If you've missed it, make sure you check it out. And in the current one we are going to uh, show how to save yourself some trouble by protecting yourself from parameter tampering. What is parameter tampering? That essentially is manipulations of parameters exchanged between client and a server. You may change query strings, request bodies, cookies, uh, if you don't validate your data, an attacker may inject additional parameters through your form or through a JSON request. The ASP.NET Core model binding is vulnerable to this attack if you're not careful. So always validate your input and always make sure you include only the properties you want, you want in your input models. Don't leave any other properties because they can be easily changed or altered. So a malicious request may change the data you don't want. Let me go to Visual Studio. In the demo code, we have a security controller which shows every potential attack in ASP.NET Core. And here is the parameter tampering. Before I show you the code, I would like to tell you where you can find it. It's essentially in my GitHub profile, which is Ivaio Kenov. Hit repositories, then write down TV here. And this is the repository which contains all my video lesson code. I link everything here and for the current lesson, the code is in Web Application Security Considerations. I will be extremely thankful if you give this project a star or you may watch it if you like because this way you will be notified when I upload a new lesson. Good, now let's continue. The parameter tampering, let's imagine that we have a book model in our database with an author here. The author is essentially a foreign key to another entity. The, the book has title, description, some other properties and an author ID. If we are not careful and if we are using the book model directly in our actions in the ASP.NET Core controllers, an attacker may send additional data which we are not uh, prepared to validate. For example, here is a typical action in ASP.NET Core. We accept a book model. We validate the model state. If it's valid, we save it to the data and redirect to another action. The view here is parameter tampering, a normal form which allows me to edit the title and the description of the book, nothing else. But by using the book model directly here, I'm exposing the author ID property too. So let's see what will happen if I try to run the app. And go to parameter tampering. As we can see, the form contains only title and description and at first everything seems fine. But an attacker may easily go and change the form HTML by adding another input and saying that the input is author ID like this. So now the form has three inputs and when I try to say test book test book description and some author ID. If I hit the button, I will see that ASP.NET Core binds the new author ID automatically. So this way, an attacker may change the book data without allowing me to uh, protect myself. 
and if everything is fine the model will be added to the database and the attacker will be able to change the book's author without uh, without our intention to do so so essentially that's parameter tampering how to fix it and how to save yourself from the trouble don't use database models don't use database models in your controller actions the solution is very simple always add a new model which is specifically designed for the form you want to use so creating a book form model with the title and the description will save me the from this attack so i'm adding book form model here then in the view I'm going to say that the form model is book form model like this and finally I'm going to say var book equals new book and I'm going to transfer the properties. You may use AutoMapper for this to save you some code. Then I'm going to save the book here. This way I'm protected from any external property I don't want in my form. If I run the app again and hit parameter tampering, if I edit the form HTML and if I add another input for the author ID the attack will no longer work because we can see that the model includes only the properties we want so this is essentially parameter tampering and how we can save ourselves from that good that was it for this video if you find it useful hit the thumbs up button and if you're interested in additional exclusive video lessons make sure you check out my patreon because this web application security video series was chosen by the community there so this is why i'm recording it make sure to Check my Patreon if you're interested in additional lessons, for example, optimizing web applications, database indexes, data structure efficiency, and so on. Thank you guys for being with me, and I'm going to see you in my next video.